Hello and welcome to C Sharp Programming Project Based Learning Course. This course is brought to you by huntforcode.blogspot.com under the Project Programming Project School. In this lecture, in this course, we are designing records management application using C Sharp Programming and MySQL database programming in the Microsoft Visual Studio 2015 environment. In the previous lecture, we have in the previous lecture we have started the coding process and added the code for the timer and also the close button and the date and time level as i will show you that we have added this code for these four things one for, for the close button also for the timer and also for the date if you have not watched the lecture then click on the they then click on the previous button appearing in the upper left corner and watch that lecture if you are completely new to this course then start from the beginning by clicking on the playlist name appearing just in front of you on the screen so in this lecture we will add my sql reference to our project now for adding the my sql reference to our project also i want to tell you that as i have already uh, described and already told you and in the every the, at the beginning of the every lecture i am telling you i am describing that this is a mysql database based project and it have a mysql database so for the login form you should first learn how to reference to mysql database so in order to reference to mysql database follow we will follow the following steps and you should watch it clearly and learn it because it will help you a lot not only in this project but in the upcoming your upcoming projects because i am giving you the idea that if you are a beginner in the programming in any type of programming you can create such awesome product uh, such awesome projects as i have created while learning c sharp programming so first of all in the solution explorer click on the references and then click on the add reference first of all click on the references and then click on the add reference then a, an, a window will be opened then in this menu then in this menu search for the mysql dot data then searching for the mysql dot data now going to the m and uh, now extensions searching for the mysql dot data it will take some more time and then checking it and we have checked it and then clicking on the ok and now this is this mysql dot data is added means mysql we have added mysql reference to this project but the work is remaining here you should also add mysql library to our project to complete to to complete this work so now adding the mysql library you should require we we require a mysql library which is uh consider it and uh, watch it clearly that what i am writing and this is my sql as we have added the my sql reference so my sql dot data dot my sql client and then semicolon so we have added the my sql library and also first of all we have added the my sql reference using the reference and adding reference uh, then click on the add reference and then searching by the mysql data and then using and then edit the mysql library and it will work on correctly then so so we have now you have learned how to add so we have added the mysql reference to our c sharp project and now it will work correctly with our project and we can and we can query the data from our mysql database now you have learned how to add reference to mysql database and also how to add mysql library to your c sharp project so in the next lecture you will learn how to code for the login button so thank you for watching my lecture hopefully you would have learned 
that how to add the MySQL reference to our project. Now, if you have liked my lecture and want more lectures and curious about developing these whole applications and curious about this whole development process, then press the big red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions, then you can comment it down here. I will try my best to solve your problems. Also, as this channel is only for you, this is a free course for you. So if you have any suggestions to make this course much better only for you. So as the course is in the recording process, so I will appreciate all your suggestions. I will also appreciate all your criticism. Also, you can like our Facebook page and can join our Facebook group for much more interaction. Thank you again. Stay tuned and wait for my next lecture. Until then, happy coding.